Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today, well actually we're cooking breakfast and what we are cooking today, we are cooking croissant cups. That's right, that's what I said, croissant cups. So um, as you guys see, I just wanted to show you, I'm just using the Pillsbury croissants, this is the Sweet Hawaiian. Uh, what I have in the pan, I think they're the butter, yeah butter. Um, just use simple Pillsbury croissant uh, rolls. And um, the only thing I did was I took the croissant, you know, peeled it, and then I just put it in my muffin cup, and I just manipulated it with my hands, and just shaped it to the shape of the muffin cup. That's all I did. See, so just sit it down in the cup, and just manipulate the dough to the shape of the muffin pan. Easy, easy, guys. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get these um, in the oven, you guys will see what I'm doing. Once again, this is Arika Misha. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for clicking on this video. I want to take time out to thank all my subscribers. Thank all those who support and love my channel. Also, want to thank those who stop by, don't subscribe, but you watch my videos anyway. Uh, and yep, this is what we're doing this morning. We are doing croissant cups. So, you guys will see what I put in the croissant cups. So, let's go ahead, get these in the oven, 350 degrees, and we'll put them in, let's see, I forgot what it said, 350 degrees, and we'll put them in for 12, 9 to 12 minutes. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead, I'll set my timer for about 10 minutes just to see uh, how long it takes them. So, let's go ahead and get these cups in the oven. I'll be back, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you see, our little croissant little pockets croissant muffins are all nice and brown let me show you guys I'll pick one up still a little hot of course look how delicious that looks makes a little cute little croissant cup for you look at that isn't that beautiful look how nice and golden brown and guys um I did spray my pan with you know like uh cooking oil your uh you know whatever you want to use you guys you guys know I use the Publix um spray so the canola oil so I did spray my pan to make sure my little croissant muffins don't stick these look more like croissant cups yeah I'm gonna change the name y'all we gonna call these croissant cups because that's what they look like and look at them they are gorgeous they are gorgeous guys nice and golden brown all the way all right so you see this little pocket right here that's where we're gonna sit everything in so over here guys let me show you I've got I've got my eggs, I've got my bacon, you guys see how I chopped that up, and my sausage, I chopped those up, and my eggs, eggs are eggs, and you guys will see how I build these little croissant cups. So, I've got some Sargento 6 cheese, Sargento 6 cheese, Italian, so basically what I'm going to do, I want to put my cheese down first, you want to put your cheese down first. So that, you know, your food sticks to the cheese. You guys will see. Put a little cheese at the bottom. So that your eggs and your uh, meat sticks to the croissant. You'll see. Little cheese in there. Little cheese in there. Kind of like push it down with your hand so it gets down in there. Little cheese. Kind of push it down in there in your little pocket. Your little cup. Your little croissant cup. Alright, so I got a little cheese down there. Now I still have my oven uh, preheated to 350. It's still on 350. Because I want to stick these back in the oven, you know, so they can all melt. So, the next thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and get some egg down. Let's get some egg down in these cups. Nice little chunk of egg right there. Oh, my eggs are hot, hot, hot. I just got through scrambling them. Kind of breaking that egg up. Let's break this up. All right, so we got our egg down. You guys saw how I do it. Yep, you guys can see real good. So, 
what you want to do next put you some sausage down just a little croissant cups just an idea I created I thought it would be cute you know and y'all know me I keep it changed up for the kids you gotta keep it changed keep changing 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 it up changing it up for the kids and me sometimes my mind just thinks about different things to cook and how I can cook them I'm telling you I can be doing laundry thinking about you know oh cooking this and cooking that and oh you could do this and you can do this and change that and I'm telling you my mind is constantly going about different things to cook for the girls well for the family for myself too because I eat it too so a little sausage over there break this egg up Get some sausage on this one. And then we're going to put some cheese on top of this after we add the bacon, of course. We got to add the bacon. I'm going to add a little bacon in here. And I want to add my cheese. A little bit more cheese across the top to seal everything. Keep everything together. And then I might throw some more bacon on top of that cheese. I think I might do that because I think that might look real pretty. Look real good. Okay, let's see how we looking. Yeah, those look good, y'all. Little cheese. That's going to melt down. It's going to melt right on over it. And y'all know, the star of the show, my parsley. I got to put some parsley on top. Oh, yeah, these are going to be cute. These are going to be real cute, little croissant cups. These are going to be real nice and cute. Add a little bit more cheese to that one. A little bit more cheese. Because y'all know this cheese is going to melt down, so... It's going to melt down and around and seal all that bacon and sausage in. That's what it's going to do. Make sure you got all your cheese in your cups. Everything back in your cups. Clean it up. Now, this isn't one of those quick get in and out of the kitchen meals I'll be showing y'all. I told y'all I'm going to start showing y'all other meals too. Some of them ain't going to be so quick, you know. Not all the time. That's not reality. Getting in and out of the kitchen all the time. So. Alright. Those look really yummy and tasty. Okay. Those look good. So let's get the start of the show in here. Y'all know the star of the show is my parsley. Putting some parsley on top. Oh yeah. Those are going to be real pretty. Real pretty. Alright, let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see. Oh, those are really nice. Okay. Y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven. At 350 and you know what I'm gonna put in there for like five minutes well I'm gonna see how long it take y'all I think usually I'll put them in for like five minutes but sometimes y'all know how that is so let me see I'm gonna go ahead and put it in at 350 degrees and I'll let y'all know how long it took I'll be back guys okay guys our croissant cups are out of the oven and I put them on 350 of course like I said and I put them in for five minutes five minutes 350 so you guys see, let me take you in for the final results. They look amazing. They look delicious. Y'all saw me do it. So y'all know I did it. Our little croissant cups. All right, guys. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha, especially Instagram, guys. And don't forget, knowledge, it's power. Thanks, guys. Bye.